I can't remember. Yeah, okay. It's how much has happened. It feels probably feels like two, but I think it's only been in a week. Oh, nice. Uh, tell me about the session. Actually, what? How do you feel about the session right now? Uh, the session was um, incredibly relaxing, and mm -hmm. um, it was very much focused on kind of areas I, I could I could visualize quite easily. So I, I loved the way that actually you put nice. those nice. visualizations in that I could really relate to because that always makes the relaxation a lot easier to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was um, it was a journey. It was a real journey on on the um, the session that you used and. Um, I found it quite hard, as I said to you at the time, to go back when you asked me to visualize something yeah. behind me that I, I physically couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Um, but you're actually also a hypnotherapist, right? I am a hypnotherapist. Tell me something about that. I'm sure. So, based in the south of England, um, I guess my main areas that I work with are confidence and anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, but like most hypnotherapists, we, we, could, we can pretty much do everything that comes to us. So. Um, yeah. My, my passion is the kind of confidence side of things because I guess that's where my interest in hypnotherapy came from. Oh, nice. Okay, tell me something. No, now tell me what happened after the session because a lot of people will probably want to know that, right? Okay, so after the session, I, I've been working probably down in the south for about uh, south of England for about three years now, um, and I was saying to you that I'd really love to to go back up to London again and as soon as the session finished and we've been talking about um, an image of um, Harley Street is where, where I quite That's fancy right. working again, um, I, I, I found the picture of the place I wanted to work at, I emailed them and then within four days I was up there having a meeting with them and just filling in the paperwork too high the rooms now <laughs> up there so yeah that's happened already and if and guys if you wouldn't see the room i'm actually getting jealous myself <laughs> so i was like no chris you should focus on what you want not not get jealous of becky because <laughs> it's just amazing it's just amazing the room I'm thinking A-list meetups up there, you know, with yeah. the pirate for um, group things. So it's a it's a good place to meet up and have a chat with everybody. Yeah, it it looks amazing. So tell me about uh, other stuff that uh, start happening uh, in your life. Well, one of the things, obviously, I did work in London once before, and mm -hmm. I didn't really it did the advertising didn't go very well. I didn't market myself, I think, and actually, mm -hmm. kind of your the focus you gave me through the session actually started to draw my attention to things that had always actually been around me, um, mm -hmm. which, which they kind of say with law of attraction, that actually it's already there. You just, you've got your, your blinkers on and you can't see it. That's <laughs> right, exactly right. And something popped up, an event in London that will have quite a good potential for networking with uh, hundreds of people. That mm -hmm. I, I looked at it and actually... When I first looked at it, I thought, oh, I don't know. And then I thought, it's being thrown at you. Go to, you know, so I'm now booked in at this event, which in two weeks' time, um, which is very much linked to, I guess, the fashion industry and mm -hmm. uh, that kind of industry. So I'm going to be up there talking to people that, that live up there, work up there, breathe London. So I'll be potentially meeting whoever, three, four hundred new clients. <laughs> That's going to be great. <laughs> so... So actually, after the session, uh, what happens to the way of, of how you view life and how um, how you would see yourself? Like you're actually already a very optimistic person, right? I am. I've always so. been quite optimistic, but this, this focused me. I think that's the thing that I noticed that it it kind of focused my thoughts. They, they've been kind of bouncing here, there, and everywhere, and wondering whether I should, whether I shouldn't. It was actually like try it. If you don't like it, then you don't have to. <laughs> Yeah. You don't have to do it, you can leave it behind, but it, it really focused my thoughts, which is, I think, something that we all forget to do ourselves sometimes. We help everybody else do it as hypnotherapists, mm -hmm. and we forget that we need it just as much as everybody yeah. else. So, yeah. <laughs> That's true. So, if, you, if, you, if there's somebody who would like to take the session, but they're not really sure, what would you say to them? 100% sure. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting myself ready to kind of book in for the session one with, with you probably in the not too distant future so that's that's how much i thank would you. recommend you. it to someone else so i i thank you from kind of <laughs> i thank you for trusting me because actually i know it works and i know it works for me and my clients 
but uh, actually the, it's it needs trust from people to try it and uh, I'm really grateful that you give me your trust to do that of course I I would 100% recommend you <laughs> nice thank you very much I would 100% recommend you so we will uh, keep it at that and um, I would try to stop my recording right now uh, so it's and we're